Hey everyone, this is Jack from Victory Camera, and today I'm going to show you how to develop color film at home with CineStill's Color Simplified 2 Bath Process. I know a lot of people are intimidated by the thought of developing color film, and I know I was, but CineStill has really made it easy with their liquid and powder kits. The C41 process is really different chemically from black and white, but the main difference on a practical level is just heat. The optimal temperature of this developer is 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know that sounds hot, but don't get scared. All we need is a hot water bath to bring our developer temperature up and keep it there while we're developing. Once you get the hang of it, C41 developing isn't much harder than black and white, and it can save you a ton of money on lab processing. Plus, it's just fun. So I definitely recommend giving it a try if you have the equipment. If you have the equipment for black and white developing, then you can definitely do C41 as well. The only other thing we need is a basin to make that hot water bath, and you can use your kitchen sink for that if you want. All it takes is following instructions closely and keeping an eye on your developer temperature. So you're going to need a thermometer. Let's get started by mixing up our chemistry. Let's start with developer. We need a graduated cylinder and the three parts of the solution. I'm making a pint of this, so per the instructions I'll start with 10 ounces of 120 degree water. You can mix boiled water with warm until you get the right temperature, or even microwave it in a safe vessel. You'll mix and stir parts A, B, and C of the solution one at a time until all are combined, following the provided volumes carefully. As I said, Cinestill recommends developing at 102 degrees Fahrenheit, but you can use cooler temperatures. It just increases the developing time by a lot and apparently reduces contrast and color separation. Next, we'll mix our Blix, short for bleach and fix. Together, this solution will neutralize, then strip the light-sensitive silver from our film. There's some debate about combined versus separate bleach and fix, but for my money, Cinestill's formula works great. Starting with nine ounces of 125 degree water, I'll mix the indicated volumes of parts A, B, and C one at a time, just like I did for the developer. Cinestill gives a much wider temperature range for the Blick step between 75 degrees and 105 degrees Fahrenheit, so you won't have to worry about keeping Blicks hot when developing. The last solution is a stabilizer. This is meant to prevent both water spots and any fungal or mold growth on your negatives for archival reasons. Some people say this step isn't necessary for modern color films as they contain stabilizers within the film itself, but I recommend just sticking to Cinestill's instructions, especially if you've already got the whole kit. Mix it according to instructions and our chemistry is done. Now for the moment everyone's afraid of, making a hot water bath for our chemicals. Since I've just mixed them, it shouldn't take long for them to warm up. You don't want to overheat them, but the bath also helps keep them a consistent temperature as you agitate and put down the tank in the water bath. I'll get the water in this tub a few degrees over the target temperature and keep an eye on my thermometer. Now we've got our three solutions set up, our developer's hot, our blicks can be in the bath or not, and our stabilizer is room temperature. We want to leave room in our bath for the developing tank to sit in it between agitations. You can start with an optional water soak for one minute at the same temperature as your developer. This is to rinse the film of any debris and to warm it up. Then we'll dump that and pour in our developer, agitating for the first 10 seconds, then inverting four times every 30 seconds for a total time of three and a half minutes. Be careful with your first agitation, as when you pour in that hot developer and seal the lid, it has a tendency to explode and spray chemicals everywhere, and this stuff can stain. Now pour the developer into its original container, and pour in your blicks, agitating in the same pattern for eight minutes total, regardless of temperature. Once that's done, you'll wash the film with warm water for three minutes, or fill and empty the tank seven times. Finally, pour in the stabilizer, agitate the first 15 seconds, then let it set for 30 seconds to a minute total. And that's it. Pop the top and pull your film out to dry. Hopefully this video makes it clear that color film developing doesn't have to be difficult. It's a little more complicated than black and white, but not by much. If you love shooting film, but don't love the cost of lab processing, then this is a great skill to develop. No pun intended. If you're in the Boulder area, come see us at Victory Camera where we've got this Cinestill CS41 kit in stock and let us know if you give it a try. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.